I want to spend some time talking about AI. We've got so much of information of AI, it's almost an overload. Now we're not sure what AI should be doing in our lives. So we have built, not, we're not talking about, we've actually built our own so many AI agents. I'm going to give you some use cases that are so easily applicable in your own businesses. We've launched it in so many ways, in so many countries, and you will be amazed with what it is already doing in Jamaica. For example, we saw in Amber Connect, you do not need to click buttons to find information for your vehicles. You can just talk to it. You saw Revo. We have put 133 terabyte of data to build Revo AI. That means you can go back 200 years of Jamaican history and ask any question it still can answer. It has so much of information inside and is just the start. What I want to uh, uh, give you a little bit of idea that what are we really doing with AI in the business world? And this is for all of us here in this room, including government. Now, first, business intelligence agents. Now we know we always used Power BI and Tableau and all sorts of reporting dashboards to get information that we need for our systems. Amber has built more than 600 um, a framework for uh, business intelligence dashboards where you no longer need to look at a static dashboard. You can query with a voice command. You can say, hey, tell me what is happening in my sales today. Tell me how many customers dropped off. Tell me how many customers um, are a risk to the business for fraud. Tell me anything you want to ask. So instead of a static old school use case where you had a, a, a dashboard that you can only scroll around in a limited way, AI has given the ability to give you unimaginable amount of data in just a voice command itself. So apart from that, we've also built deck document vetting agents. So we now have a full system where an application comes in. It could be for government, it could be for your business. Let's say you are an insurance company, you are um, a loan company, and people make um, applications for any kind. Now that application has to match with the rules of the business. It has to match with all the potential um, uh, cross-checks that has to be done if the form is filled correctly or not. We built AI agents and actually demonstrated to one of the very large government organization in Jamaica where the document vetting agent automatically vets everything, compares it with the law, and comes back saying if the application submitted is correct or not, and where the flaws are so the case workers can spend less time on looking at manually. Apart from that, we've also built document generation agents. For example, you can now stand in front of a tablet or on your phone and can do a full AI-based onboarding of any uh, uh, product that you have. You, you may have, like I said, so many different businesses have different onboarding systems. Mostly you use an app or you use a website, ask 10,000 questions, and then eventually the customer is onboarded. And I imagine a fluency where the customer is actually speaking to an actual AI. And without even, it's incredible how amazing it is. I want to give you a dem demonstration if I can. Sales agent uh, for uh, uh, one of the big uh, uh, quick serve restaurants, but I'll come to that quickly. Then you have the question answer agent like Revo. You have a website, it's got tons of information. How do customers find real information? How do I get to the information, the product, or the price, or exactly what I'm looking for that the AI can consolidate and give me a suggestion? We built so many AI agents which can actually do convert your website into a, into a conversation website where customers can actually onboard themselves through the product itself. And um, if you listen to the uh, quick serve restaurant product we built, she kept upselling that top up. And she kept upselling that extra fries and extra Coke and extra everything. It's incredible how smart the AI agents have become. And you also saw we brought Cliff into, so we do full voice cloning as well. So you can choose your voice. And we have now integrated 160 languages in the world, including 26 different dialects of Patwa in the AI bot. So even if somebody is speaking in Patwa fully, the bot fully understands, translates that, and continues giving the action. Then you have the customer support agent. We now have 
Amber Connect, for example, at one point we had so many customer support agents, we are down to only six now because it only handles the back end. What we've done with our customer support agents is to got them to higher degree of uh, jobs where they are now training the bots in, instead of just answering calls. So the customer support incoming calls can be fully handled by AI 100%. Business sales a a a a agent, this is so many sales agents that we've bought, built. For example, you also have, I was saying about quick serve, red, red, I just came back from Guyana last time. The uh, uh, CEO that said got up his chair and started dancing because they've got so much of shortage of labor that their ability now to serve hundreds of customers per second without losing the quality, without losing any of it, it's just, it's just changed the whole game. So we built a lot of business sales agents also. Apart from that, we also have sales reminders, subscription and collection. So we built for also. That means if your insurance premium or your mobile phone bill or anything a certain day, a week before it will call the customer automatically, full human voice, you won't even know it's not a human. And talk to you, hey, I'm calling from Amber, your subscription is due. Next week, I'm just checking if everything is okay with your payment or do you want to give any update on that? And the customer say, no, no, I'm fine, it'll carry on. On the day, it will call again. And if it becomes delinquent, then it automatically keeps calling the customer, engaging the customer to collect, including sending a payment link via WhatsApp automatically for the customer to pay that. So we also built the whole last mile collection through Amber Pay. That means not only we're calling and asking the customer to pay, but we are also integrated in such a way that it will also send a payment link to the customer to come out of their de delinquency. We've also built a complaint resolution uh, agent that means when a customer complains and when a complaint comes you want to have somebody really friendly not in a bad mood taking the call that day and really handle the customer's questions in a way that the customer feels delighted we built customer service agents now which actually help you to fully talk through the process of the complaint they will understand the complaint and also interact in a manner and give them solution for example for the pizza i actually complained to the bot that the pizza i got last time was soggy and i don't like to buy pizza from you guys anymore and the agent turned around instantly and said i'm so sorry but do you know sometimes if it takes more than 20 minutes for you to collect the pizza since you collected the pizza you collect it 30 minutes later if it crosses the 20 minutes threshold the pizza can get start getting soggy it is so intelligent the way it can answer it is unthinkable because it has a brain of its own now it can think it can talk it can actually engage in a way that humanity has never seen before Apart from that, we've also built feedback and survey agents. Many times we get a mail after receiving a service. Hey, how was the service? Give me five star and four star and it's all email based mostly. And you know what we do with emails when they arrive, we just delete. That also means we do not really get proper service feedback from our customers. What are they thinking about our business? What do they think about how they got served? So we built full automated feedback and survey agents that would help you um, uh, 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 collect feedback through a phone call too. It actually calls. Uh, the customer engages them. Hey, you just purchased an Amber Connect product. Um, I just wanted to ask you, how was your experience? Um, and just talk through the process. It's so chatty, so bubbly at the same time. Uh, we've also built appointment scheduler a agents. A lot of us are in banking. And sometimes in banking, you want somebody to schedule everything in advance. But I don't want to go into a website and click and click and set up an appointment date. It's so automated via AI. So this is the AI revolution. I want to also add that AI is going off changes in three, three months. Every quarter, AI is changing the whole business world around the world, and we are trying to keep up, and I am struggling to keep up. Now, when ChatGPT came a year ago, we know generative AI became big. What, what does that mean? ChatGPT creating or generating stuff. You want to create a video, you want to create a reel, you want to have um, a, a images changed or made, and you want to have anything you want to have. All those generative AI is now becoming 
everyday use in our homes and businesses. But that phase is going so fast. The second phase of AI came was all about agent AI or agentic AI where multiple agents, multiple AI agents are coordinating between themselves to actually take an action. So we built a lot of agentic AI solutions, but on top of that, what we've also done now, agentic AI and the AI agent who calls and engages and have the conversation with you like Revo, et cetera. But the third phase of AI has already started, which is the physical AI. And that is where we are going next because everything that you see that you could do with your hands before is now automated by a robot. Everything is becoming robotics based on, we also know that as a, technology business, if we don't keep up with robotics, which is the next phase of evolution of AI, we will be left behind in the world. What does that mean really? Robotics is the next generation of AI. That means that when you buy a robot, like you buy a laptop of Windows, what happens? It just comes with a basic Windows platform. If you are a lawyer, you add your own software. You're an accountant, you add your own software. Whatever skills you want, you add those skills into the laptop, right? This is how you operate a laptop. You buy a standard laptop and add the software you want. So in our world of AI and uh, agentic AI, we also know the next revolution by 2026 is going to be robotic AI. That means we will be programming robots to do what they need to do. And that is why this uh, AI lab, the national AI lab is so important for us in Jamaica that we will actually train our local Jamaican youth to train robots also because that is the next phase of evolution.